Yo, what's good with y'all? Welcome back to A1 Hoop Zone. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. All right, we here, man. We're at the Western Conference Finals, rematch from the bubble. Yeah, I know y'all probably either y'all didn't heard it or tired of hearing it, but yeah, man, we got the we got the rematch from the bubble uh, between the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Lakers. Man, oh man, we got ourselves a, a, a situation on our hands here, man. A uh, hell of a matchup in the West. Um, both teams obviously striving to make it to the finals and, and just not to make it there, but to bring home the chip as well. But, uh, you know, so who do we got winning this one and why, man? <clears throat> I'll start on Denver's side. Denver's side, you know, obviously game one is at home. Uh, going to be an extremely tough game. Rockets crowd, uh, huge environment to play in. Obviously playing in that mile high, you got to make sure that you are well rested, uh, definitely in shape. Your conditioning is on point. Otherwise, you can find yourself in trouble in a hurry. Um, you know what I mean? The Suns found that out firsthand going in there. Uh, I won't blame their conditioning, but I also will say that 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 uh, that mile high and that crowd definitely played a big difference as far as in the outcome of that series. Uh, when they were playing at home, man, it was like they couldn't be beat. And obviously they went on the road to close out in game seven. Um, you know what I'm saying? Delivered a devastating blowout <laughs> again, uh, back to back years for, for Monty in that in that perspective of it, man. So it was one of those games that it was close at first, and then it got ugly, and then, uh, you know, it just it was all downhill from there, man. So, uh, shouts out to them for going in and closing that series out with the Suns. Obviously, it got Monty Williams fired. Um, again, Chris Paul's status as far as being a son of the future is in question, obviously, due to more so due to his, his um, you know, him being injury prone. But uh, as far as for the team, uh, KD and Book are safe. Everybody else is uh, it's kind of one of them things, man. Everybody else is on the trading block. Everybody else is on that. You know what I'm saying? We we can you definitely a movable piece, um, which is unfortunate. But again, you, you know it comes down to coaching. It comes down to the players. So I think they definitely got a shoulder 50-50 on that. But I'll drop a different video on that, man. But we we talk about the Nuggets. I'm just telling y'all what the Nuggets, what they did and what they cost. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all what they did and what they cost, man. So y'all know uh, exactly what's going on, what happened, and things like that. Just doing a little backstory on it. But <clears throat> as far as like you know, what I mean, who, who do we for this one, man? I expect a huge game. From, from Joker, even though he, he does have a, a tough time against AD. Obviously, uh, AD gives everyone a tough time when he's locked in, especially on the defensive end, uh, due to the fact that his size, his length, his athleticism, his, his defensive prowess, his understanding, you know what I'm saying, key positionings for it as well. So, Jokic is going to have his hands cut off for him because AD is going to uh, definitely have to make him work on the other end of the ball as well. That's one thing uh, that you can do with Yoke is, is you got to make him work on both ends. Otherwise, if you don't, you're going to see 50, 50 point, uh, you know what I'm saying? 53 point triple double games and stuff like that. You're going to see that come because we, we know he's the all time leader and what? And, and triple doubles for centers. So obviously that, that, that man can ball. He can put up points, get rebounds and obviously get his teammates involved and get an assist. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So the, uh, you know, Lakers going to have their hands cut out for him. Jamal Murray, he's, he's one of the wild cards, man. They, they, you know, he's one of those players that, if he gets hot, you know what I'm saying, and he because he is a streaky scorer. If he gets hot, uh, that could that could spell trouble for the Lakers. You know what I mean. So they're gonna have to be on their p's and q's and paying attention to him as well. You know what I mean. They're gonna have to be locked in. They're gonna have to pay attention to to you know what I'm saying, what he's doing, how he's playing, and things like that. But um, again, man, it's one of those things where it's gonna be a great game. They're gonna need Michael Porter Jr. to step up, continue to do what he's been doing for them. Uh, they're gonna need Contavious Caldwell Pope, KCP for short. Uh, they're going to need him to show up against his ex-team uh, as well. Um, he was once a Laker, you know, at that point, too. So, and they all know what he can do. He's a 3 and D guy, smart player, uh, you know, shows up right for business each and every day, day in and day out. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on that. Uh, Jeff Green, un un Uncle Jeff, as they call him, uh, he, you know, every time he comes in, good things happen. So, keep an eye on that as well. Uh, so, they're going to have bodies to throw with this Lakers team. You know what I'm saying? Bron, or Br I mean, well, Bruce Brown and then uh, Brown or Brown, uh, the other one, they spell it B-R-A-U-N. So <laughs> it's spelled differently, but they pronounce it as Brown. <clears throat> you know, he's out there putting up buckets too, man. He's playing with a uh, tenacity, toughness, and, and some grit. You know I mean? He's bringing them that kind of physicality for the wing. You know what I'm saying? Guarding these players on the wing. So it's not no easy, no easy outing of anywhere you look about. And they still got Aaron Gordon, good player with size, still jump out of the gym and he's giving them – you know, he's expanded his game, and he's showing, you know what I'm saying, he can hit the three, he can hit the mid-range. Uh, now, you know, rebounding, and he's definitely trying to lock in on the defensive end and show he can do all these things. You know, he's evolved his game. He doesn't want to just be known as a dunker. <clears throat> so, you know what I'm saying, Denver definitely, definitely has the roster to be able to go out there and beat this Lakers team, but 
Um, you know, that's as far as I'm gonna go with that. Do I think they're gonna win? No. Um, and that's just not me speaking it from a uh, fandom or obviously my team. Uh, if you don't know now, you know my team is the Lakers. So <clears throat> for my Lakers, man, uh, let's go ahead and jump into them. Right now, we all know, you know, it's in the spearhead of that team. Um, you know, you want to say it's LeBron, but in reality, it's more it's AD. When AD shows up and he is playing like the, you know what I'm saying, the unstoppable force and one of the, and the best player in the league instead of one of the best players, uh, the Lakers are extremely hard to beat, man. We've seen him go out time and time and again, drop 30, 30 point games, 20 some rebounds, and, and you know what I'm saying, five, six blocks, and, and, a, and a few assists to throw in there, chip in there. Uh, we've seen him in a monster game, controlling the game from start to finish, is just due to his activity. And we're going to need that every single game. There can't be any games off playing against this Denver Nuggets team. There can't be no games off. He can't go in there and give us a mediocre AD. He can't go in there and show up. And, and decide, okay, I'm going to take an extended lunch break. He has to go in there, and he has to lock in and play every single game as if it's the last game. He needs to play it as if it's a game seven. That's his mentality. That's what he needs to be doing. If he, do, if he does anything less, uh, we could be in trouble. And I'm just being honest with you. We absolutely could be in trouble. So he has to definitely make sure he's going in there and he's playing, playing like that. Like I said, if he's not playing like that, you know, it's, it's going to spell trouble. We don't, in, in reality, we don't really have anybody that can – Handle and deal with Jokic on that level. And again, I say we because I was from a Lakers fan, but from a from a fan perspective in its entirety, uh, the Lakers don't. AD is the only person that can deal with Jokic. Outside of him, everybody else is barbecue chicken. No side of disrespect to uh, to uh, Winding Gabriel or, or Hachimaru or or uh, even Tristan Thompson, who they just picked up, which I believe he's going to be getting some minutes in this in this series, is due to the fact that they they're going to need the size. And Tristan Thompson is the person that. His calling card is more so is defense, defense and rebound. So they're gonna we're gonna need all that. But from a wing perspective, man, I, I expect you're gonna see a lot of Dennis Schroeder, obviously on, on Jamal Murray. You're gonna you're gonna see actually a lot. They got, we have a lot of bodies to throw at Jamal Murray. The only person I would say that they don't really have a true body for, but then again, we kind of do, would be Michael Porter Jr. We could put Hachimaro on him, and, and Hachimaro is physical enough, to deal with him, athletic enough, and fast enough. So Porter doesn't really – I mean, like I said, the only element in his game, what he does, and the only thing he loves to do is shoot threes. If he would just lock in and understand the mid-range the attacking the rim and, and being more uh, aggressive from that standpoint, man, that young man would be a force. So right now he's playing extremely tentative with the fact that wanting to do what? He just wants to shoot threes. That's it. And that's no knock against him. He's def- He can definitely knock him down, but at the more, more so. At his size, he should actually be taking advantage of his size, man, and, and getting there. But – you know, I hope he doesn't realize that realize that against my Lakers. <laughs> Just like I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're probably wishing the same. But, um, you know what I mean? And then we keep going down the line. Obviously, LeBron, I don't think they have an answer for him. They're going to probably put Bruce Brown or maybe Michael Porter on him, or they're going to have Jeff Green. Like Jeff Green is going to get a lot of minutes. But, again, man, he they, they're going to have to figure out some way to kind of deal with it. So the two stars between AD and LeBron and then uh, – and, and, um, and Jokic and Jamal Murray, you know, it's probably going to be a watch between itself, and it's going to boil down to the bench players and the others. The others and the bench players are going to make the difference in this series and, and see who wins it, you know what I mean, at that point. But for me, <clears throat> I need Austin Reeves to, to show up, continue giving us the exact same thing he's giving us. I need I need Beasley. He, 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 he showed some signs of life in, in a blowout game against the Warriors where he was knocking down shots, seemed like he was getting his confidence back. Uh, Lonnie Walker, I need him to stay aggressive. Um all, all the all these guys, man, that, that wasn't getting too much as far as like minutes, but they were they were getting sometimes some burn at the end, just more so to get into a rhythm. And these guys, it looks like some of them were able to do that. Some of them were able to get into a rhythm of being able to play. So I'm hoping that they can turn that into some from from, from a positive perspective, man. Take that into this series and keep that going. Hot tomorrow, we see can knock down threes and get hot and, and put up buckets in a hurry. Did that against Memphis, so we're gonna need that too. You know what I mean? We definitely need him. And then we're going to need D'Angelo Russell doing the same thing, putting up buckets, playing consistent, uh, you know what I'm saying, making smart moves with the basketball, being smart with the basketball, high IQ basketball being played. We need that from him too. But I think we're poised and I think we're in a good position, man. Uh, for some odd reason, not 100% sure why, man, but it seems like the Lakers get up for the Nuggets every single time. And it's not more of a matter of them having an issue to do it. It's just they lock in when they play the Nuggets. Maybe because they understand the threat that they, they pose. You know what I mean? But it also is a thing where, you know, when you play this team, again, you beat this team to advance and win the championship a few years back again in the bubble. And and, and I keep mentioning the bubble because people were calling it a fluke, but yet you got the same four teams that's in 
the Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals that was in the Conference Finals in in, in the in the uh, in the bubble. So obviously, clearly ain't no fluke. You know what I mean? So people gonna have to get credence to that to, to they call that quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? That that bubble championship. I don't call it that. That's that's just number seventeen that got hung in the rafters for me. But uh, who do, enough for that, man? Who do we have for the prediction of this joint, man? I'm gonna rock up my my Lakers to win win game one. You know what I mean? I think we will come in here, look to still game one on the road, and then uh, be able to go from there, man, hanging our heads high, heading back to to looking to game two to go in there and still game two. But, you know I'm saying? We'll have to wait and see. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit the like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, man, I appreciate you stopping through, and I'll catch you on another one.